We finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto Owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going, more. Well, good day and welcome to this edition of the Red Raider Coaches Show. My name is Brent Johnson. I'm along with uh, Offensive Coordinator Matt Wilson and Defensive Coordinator Thad Williams. I want to thank them for joining me today. It's been a while since we had both of these together. Uh, you know, these guys are busy, not necessarily knowing what they're able to do or classes they're having to, to, to be involved with, but we're, uh, we're glad that they're, they're both back with us this week uh, on this edition. Um, First want to uh, recognize, I have a, a Georgia jersey on today. It's a, it's a cheap version. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not the 19. As long as it's Georgia. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Georgia. Go dogs. <laughs> Go dogs. Um, it, it, this is Red Ribbon Week um, where we um, are promoting uh, say no to drugs and vaping and, and, and all sorts of other things, uh, encouraging our kids to avoid those, those types of decisions. Um, and we spice it up by having some dress up days and we'll do anything to wear some jeans to school. Um, but today was uh, Jersey day, so I just wanted to clear that up. I think tomorrow is uh, red, white, and black or uh, your Raider uh, attire for, for, the, for Friday. So um, again, uh, thank you for joining us. I do want to specifically recognize uh, our uh, football title sponsor uh, for this year, and that is Bennett Bennett Johnson Insurance. That's Mr. Daniel Johnson. appreciate all that they do. Um, and I'll show you some ads for them and other sponsors, uh, particularly uh, on the show a little bit later. So guys, let's get right to it. Um, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I, we kind of joked about it before the show. It's a little easier to have coaches shows when we come off a big, big victory. Um, but we are coming off a loss uh, against um, a Pelham team that man, they were they were they were physical. They were that their style of offense, and we knew coming in, and you planned for it, and, and we talked about that on the last show. Um, that uh, that style of offense, you've got to play your position, you know, play your gaps on defense, and sometimes even when you do that, you get whipped, uh, and, and you know, on on certain plays, and you know, uh, they had some big guys up front, had a huge fullback. Um, and it's a two, three, four, six yards and a, and a cloud of dust. Um, what, what's, I mess, I'll mess it up, but um, Daniel, Denzel Washington said it. It's like Novocaine. Yeah. It will work. You mm -hmm. keep running and it'll work. And they got something going there uh, with Pell. And uh, so take nothing away from, uh, from that team. And they came in uh, ready to go. We talked about how well coached they, they would be. Um, and again, it just this is what it is, and we're going to talk a little bit about that game uh, last week. Then we're going to move move forward. But uh, Coach Wilson, what, what's your initial thoughts on on that game and, and the game plan? And then from an offensive standpoint, which I thought we played well, 21-21 half. They couldn't stop mm -hmm. us. You know, mm -hmm. We had a few mistakes, and I'm sure you'll talk about that. But uh, yeah, how, yeah. Offensively, we talked about we worked on it, and finally we had a game where we didn't lose a fumble. So we talked about Turner. We think we had one, but at least we didn't have multiple, and we didn't have the lost fumbles, which is what we right. struggled with. 
Um, and the first half, we was moving it, like you said, pretty good. The second half, we was moving it, but now it was red zone. It was our red zone. I think we got on the five-yard line twice and could not, not – no points. And that's just – in a game like that, we need to score, we need to score every time. Um, so – the pro so this week we're stressing now we stress red zone we all we're going to keep stressing no turnovers but we're stressing red zone because we're moving the ball and <clears throat> just fine you know running passing a little bit but uh we got to be able to punch it in there or yeah. it's for nothing so that's right so the yards were there but we got to be able to get in there and we'll get closer so we worked on uh execution like we always yeah. talk about got to ex execute when we get there like when you get when you get to the goal line the defense <laughs> they start doing different stuff mm -hmm. I mean, they start doing stuff you might not have seen, but it doesn't matter. Just go by – we tell them, just go by your rules. Do your blocking rules. They start blitzing extra people. They start doing stuff off the edge, which is stuff, you, you know, you, it's hard to prepare for. Just if you go by your – tell them, go by your rules and just stay focused yeah. and execute, and then and then we'll, and you should be able to keep going. So we, we stress that. But besides that, I was – you know, they, they, they play hard. We yeah. played hard. It's just we got to be able to get an end zone when yeah. we get close there. So – and that's what we stress. Red zone type offense. Well, I, I was extremely proud. I had a big crowd, you know, and uh, and it was it was an exciting game. Back in you could see early, you know, I was not in the commentating booth. I was, you know, on the jumbo and the scoreboard and all. But um, we had some conversations with uh, some other guys up there. It's, it's it's always one of those games to where I'm not sure if either team could stop the other. And we've seen those on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays. Is who makes the first mistake or who. Well, it may not be a mistake. It, it, it just anything, anything crazy could happen to where, you know, you get behind. It, it's uh, uh, an extra, an extra touchdown, and unfortunately, that's 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 kind of what happened to us and uh, put us in a different mode. Um, so, from a defensive standpoint, you know, how you know how frustrating is it when you're, even when you're doing the things that, because we talked the other night, and, and not every play, our guys were at, uh, you know, followed their their role. On every play, but for the most part, you know what's what's is it? It's got to be frustrating when you do what you're supposed to do and you just can't stop what's what's happening. Yeah, uh, with that offense, you just got to do your job every play, and 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 you can't take a play off. Yeah, uh, you, you can't do your own thing. You got to do exactly what you and coach do. And I just take a little second and shout out to my coaches. They they coach hard that week. They did, um, but. And I told the team after the game, hey, that's on me. It's my fault. Um, it, it's my fault for not preparing them the speed of, of, of that offense. Yeah. And I think that was the biggest thing. Um, we, we, we had to match the speed of that offense. Um, and and from, I never from, from their like execution, not literally the athleticism, but yes. just how fast yes. that they yes. they they, 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 yes. snapped, they snapped it and man they were uh, they were. It's like they were a yard down the yeah. field before yeah. we even reacted. Yeah. So that's what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and, and, and I'm a big adjusting guy, mm -hmm. and, and and I've never had uh, Coach Wilson come to. I think we had a great game plan, Coach. I never had him say that, and 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 when we lose, and 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 I just I just knew, like, hey, I know what we're gonna do next time. That's me. I already know yeah. if we run into that in the playoffs. I know what we're gonna do next time. I know the adjustments we're gonna make. But it's a learning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I took it Saturday morning. I looked over the game plan again after we lost. You know, what can we do different? So the learning experience, it wasn't the best offense uh, to go against for our defense. But um, I love a challenge. This coaching staff love a, a challenge. And we just got to step up to the plate next time. And we going to do it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the week before, we always talked about a shutout. Yeah. And then next week, here we go yeah. uh, in that predicament. So yeah. um, we going to keep working. We're gonna keep working, and, and, and we're gonna do everything that we got to do to to correct those mistakes. And, well, and the uh, and we we mentioned this the other night at the trick or trunk. If y'all didn't make it out, uh, for, uh, for, was it Monday night? Uh, it was a, a big big ordeal. I'm talking a thousand people come through there. Um, but coach and I talked just a few minutes, and um, and I think I, I, I talked to your dad as well. It's football, basketball, basic. But it's a game of matchups, you know, and I. And I, I feel like the next two weeks is actually going to be a better matchup for our team, um, and it's at every level. Um, and and some things you like you said, well game plan, and you just can't coach for certain things. And and, and like you said a while ago, uh, where we agreed that 
it's like, man, they, they got off the ball so much faster. They should get off because they know the snap and, and we're having to read that. But it was just the, the speed of, of, of them executing their plays uh, was, a, was a big factor. To piggyback off of that, I'll be honest, that offense is the exact offense you want to run against our defense yeah. because our strength is our D-line and our linebackers. Mm -hmm. And that triple option, you don't, they don't block them. Yep. They don't have to block them. And most of them, most teams we play hadn't been able to. Yeah. So they said, okay. Yeah. So it was really the perfect offense for, yeah. against our defense, I'll be honest. I've run the triple option before at past schools. And, like, if there's a team like this, I'm like, oh, glad we run triple yeah. against a team. So, it, like you said, it's a matchup thing. It well, really was. that's all we want to hear is you're going to learn from it. Mm -hmm. You know, you take mm -hmm. it as a challenge. And, and we're expecting to make a run. And we're probably going to run into another school yep. uh, at some point. It could be Bella. Who knows? Uh, down the road, um, in which our boys are going to have to, you know, face that type of, uh, of offense again. Um, but anyway, you know, we're, we're going to move forward. That was our first region matchup. Uh, tough loss for us, but we got two more. And it's still, we still have some control over our destiny from the number one spot to the number two, you know, obviously all the way down to the three and four, but we still have the ability um, to potentially have a home playoff game. And that starts uh, with Brooks County this weekend. And um, just kind of piggyback, and a lot of you out there um, are going to be thinking that, you, that probably that, you know, the average folks is going to look at the score that, that Brooks beat Pelham. They, they put 40 on them, and I think Pelham scored 35, and then Pelham puts 40 on us, and we only scored 21 or so. And um, Well, there's no way that Bacon County can beat uh, Brooks, but I think that's just the opposite. I think. Again, just from a matchup standpoint, so talk a little bit about uh, what what we can expect Brooks tomorrow night. Okay. Um, other than we know that they're they they got a winning culture. Yes. They got one of the best coaches in the state, pound for pound, at any level. Um, you know, it, so that that's what we're up against mm -hmm. before we even get on the field. You know, so tell us a little bit what to expect. First off, with us, we want to see how we bounce back as a team. That's tell right. the player how we're going to bounce back. And this year, we we bounced back good after a loss. So after we, that's how we want to see how we're going to respond. So that's what we kind of told them all week, how we're going to respond, because we're the same way as you. We don't like we don't like coming in on Monday after the loss. So yeah. we're really working on bouncing back. And um, and Brooks County's good. They're traditionally good, especially the last, I don't know, 10 years. You know, they're always in it. And um, they uh, – and their record – don't let the record fool you now. They play some juggernauts at the beginning of the year. Five. They play 5 and 6A. That's big right. school, so I wouldn't let the record for you. They're they're a good team. Um, defensively, they run a you know they got Maurice Freeman. They're gonna run a four four cover three, and that's just what they do. They've done it ever since he's there, and they just they don't care what you run. They're gonna stay in it, and they just get good at it, and they are good at it. Um, they got fifty four and sixteen. They're two DNs, and they're good. They're good ball players. Um, their inside linebacker seventeen is very good. He's fast. He's very fast. So we gotta be able to get our hands on him. A lot of teams he's got he has a, he's got a lot of tackles this year. So, um, but they're going to be they're going to be four four cover three, and they're going to be physical, and they and that's just what it is. But you know, we op offensively we just got to execute, yeah. no turnovers, execute yeah. red zone type offense stuff, and then uh, just do our job, you know. And I think we'll be fine. So we're you know we're ready to go. Ready to go. Now, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> they're kind of just the opposite. If you hadn't kept up with it, you know, on our off week, Brooks defeated Pelham, and then. You know, we play last weekend. We do lose to Pelham. Brooks got a big win over in Irwin County, um, twenty-one to six, I think, was that final. Yes. Um, so they're on a high. You know, they're 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 so here we go again. You know, here's another region championship for Brooks County, kind of thing. So that that's what they're thinking um, as you know as we're heading in tomorrow night. And uh, saw a little billboard material. Somebody from that area posted. Uh, I may mention that in just a few minutes, but. Um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. But tell us a little bit. What, what can we expect from their from their offense? Uh, different different offense this week. Uh, kind of where we used to spread. Um, got some playmakers. Um, quarterback number twenty two, running back number twenty one. Uh, runs hard. A good athletic guy. Got um, some receivers. Um, good receivers. Number three, twelve, twenty eight. Um, they can really make plays. So we got to make open field tackles. That, that's our big thing this week, and, and we got to commit to stopping the run. So, um, kind of, I kind of compared it to a game plan we have done before. It is uh, like the East Lawrence. Okay. Um, so that's that's the kind of the, the mindset we're going to tomorrow night, and um, we, we know what to do. Um, 
all week. We've, we've been there. We've been on the plays. We've been doing our job. We just got to execute, and we got to play hard. Um, like Coach Matt said, we got to bounce back. Yeah. That's our biggest thing. We got to bounce back, and uh, throughout this season, we have. Yeah. We have after a loss. So um, I'm anxious to see how our guys are going to respond. Um, I know I'm ready. Yeah. Well, I'm ready, <laughs> too. I was, I, I was ready for practice on Monday, uh, Friday, yeah. out of Friday night, you know, so – um, we read it. We read it. We've been preparing all week and we practice hard. Uh, Tuesday was a good practice. You know, that's a bloody Tuesday mm -hmm. practice and we practice hard. So I'm ready. I'm ready to see how we're going to respond on the road. Um, good playoff atmosphere. Yeah. So yeah. This is, this is a good test for us. So I well, think we're ready. I think the same, you know, I was obviously like everybody else disappointed in the outcome of the game, but again, I feel like uh, it's better. It, it would be a better matchup for us, and I think we, we still, uh, again, we hold our future in our hands. And um, and this is a play. It's, this is playoff. I mean, if, if you know, I heard some of the some of the guys were talking in the hall and <clears throat> saying, "Man, I, I'm, I mean, I'm excited about making the playoffs and we want to get a playoff win." I said, "Well, you know, these next two ball games, you know, I don't know if they completely understand the tradition of these two teams. We're talking three or four state championships in the last five or six years mm -hmm. from those these two next teams we're playing." Mm -hmm. And uh, these are playoff game caliber teams and, and games that we're playing, so it's it's just great experience. And bouncing back, you know, we talked about we do have a little bit better record away than we do at home. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, and so we're excited about that. I, I'm not sure. So we're road warriors, you know. And um, but it goes back to that mentality. Uh, we're, how we're going to bounce back, yeah. and that's that culture change, you know, as to when, when you when you when you lose, whether no matter where it's at and who it's to, is how you respond. Yeah. And um, so I'm excited to to see that, and always excited to see you guys on on the sideline, and and that's what we're looking forward to. Um, I know it's a, another little bit of a drive over to Brooks County, but um, it's going to be a, a a pretty hyped up atmosphere over there. You know, go to make the trip, stop and buy us to get you something good to eat. And then head on down to that Memorial Stadium, uh, right in the center of, uh, uh, oh, my mind just went, went blank, Quitman, Georgia, and, uh, and support these Red Raiders. And uh, I don't think we'll be disappointed. I have no doubt we're going to compete. And we'll just see what happens at the end and see where we're at. But I know we were there six or seven years ago. I know Tron's got a bad taste in his mouth. Uh, he's on staff with us. I'll never forget, I've still got a highlight, you can go and watch it or drill. It's about a 75, almost an 80, about an 80 yard pass play that uh, Tron called, scored a touchdown and it was seven to nothing. We were on the, had them on the ropes most of the game, but we just couldn't quite get to the finish line. And uh, so we, we got a little unfinished business over there and this will, if, if we can somehow pull that win out, it'll kind of get that taste out of our mouth. So um, I'm excited about going back and we hope you'll, you will be too. If you can't make it, we will be there attempting to broadcast live. It's, it's been a while since we've been there, um, to, so hopefully the, the stream will be good. But if you can't make the trip, please join us um, as we will be broadcasting. So, again, I, I really appreciate these guys stopping by, giving some information. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're going to find out. Maybe we'll find out who the real BC is yeah. tomorrow night. <laughs> That's a hint on the billboard material. Maybe, maybe we'll find out who the real BC is. So. Uh, but I'm looking forward to this. Appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you. So thank you again for joining us on this edition of the Red Raider Coaches Show.